Hi, so this isn't really a music thing per se, but I want to show you something that I was asked to work on, uh, like last night. <laughs> a friend of mine wanted to work on a, uh, a film project for classes, so I thought I would help him with some sound stuff. And one of the things I made was a gunshot out of a snare sample. So I have a handful of different snare sounds here, and this general project is sort of like gunshots building into just this mess of noise that peaks and then cuts off. So I'll let you have a, a listen to that real fast. So yeah, uh, that general sort of, that sort of like distant sound sort of thing, uh, it's sort of a, a, a PTSD kind of feel to it, but I thought it was, it was really interesting uh, to get this sound, so I thought I would show you uh, how I went about it. So I'm using a FPC Snare 1, already has a nice crack to it. Very snoping, very sh <laughs> snope, very sharp and snappy. So I'll actually go to a new pattern, and I'm just going to just put something on each. F no, let's put something on each eight. Ah, crap. So I'm gonna move over to a blank thing. I'm just gonna listen to it. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab Sound Goodizer. To really sort of emphasize it. That's not bad. Now I'm going to throw an EQ on there. I'm going to fiddle with it. So. So there we have a nice percussive sort of shot sound. A little distant, but I kind of like the feel of it. I still add a little bit of a reverb on there. And there's an interesting effect if you put it on something like this, you get a nice ringing sound. If you can hear those reverberations, like you can feel like the walls are sort of shaking a bit. But that's not exactly what I what I really want for this. I want it a little bit wider. I don't want I don't want it quite as strong. And there we go. That's not too bad. That's a decent sounding uh, single shot. So now I go to sort of a rapid fire. So. For this, I kind of want to turn the reverb off. I'm going to go to the piano roll. And... Let's zoom in a bit. So I want to make sure the snap is off. Okay. So I'm going to put... Something much smaller than that. About there... About there... About there... About there... Or, we could keep it, or we could do for like a, a burst fire sort of thing, maybe not a super fast burst, but, Let's add a little bit more, a little bit more spray in there. Let me 
move this over here a bit. Or we could move them up a little bit. So it's a little, little higher pitched. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to let that run for a second. So it has a nice sort of machine gun feel to it. I could probably adjust this a bit so it's not quite as quite as boasty. So actually let's do four shots here and then a brief stutter and then back into it. And there you go, there's a sort of a, a simple sort of not too complicated uh, gunshot sound from a snare sample and depending on what you want to do you could turn this off or turn this back on give it a bit more depth I dropped the volume and panned it so it has a little bit more m more of a, of a directional flare something that I think really helps it for this particular this particular scene that we're wanting to do So I use the, you can tell by here there's a lot of directional uh, cueing. Some I've got one that's uh, what is it about 50% left? Yeah, about 50% left. And then I have just off center. There's a shot. And then I have another one that's more towards the right. The reason why there's only one towards the left is because this one is a particularly strong shot. So let's go back. It has a lot of girth to it. So it really helps if that one is sort of by itself and leave the other lighter, uh, I guess you'd say drier shots over towards the right. And I think that really, that really works pretty well. And then on the master track for this, I have the sound goodizer that later scales up uh, to like about this point, the mix level increases. And it's, it's pretty high up there, actually. So it has this nice sort of build. And actually, I have another version of this that has a, a bit of a drone in there. So there's a building drone that fills the space. Give a sense of dread. If I play that with everything else, then it really gives a it really gives a strong feel, I believe. <laughs> I feel. There you go. I hope this was somewhat informational. I hope this uh, was a sort of cool to watch. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Yeah,